हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड आवर फर्स्ट चैलेंज एंड सेकंड चैलेंज एज वेल लेट्स टेक अपार्ट थर्ड चैलेंज नाउ व्हिच इज नथिंग बट क्रिएट अ फ्लो यूजिंग एक्सटर्नल सर्विस एक्शन लेट्स गो टू आवर चैलेंज एंड क्लिक ऑन लॉन्च वंस इफ यू रीच द आवर होम पेज इन क्विक फाइन लेट्स सर्च फॉर फ्लोस and click on flows and here we are going to choose a new flow and in this given templates we are going to choose screen flow click on create once if you get inside our flow builder just over your mouse to freeform layout now let's pull this screen over here and for label we are going to copy from challenge itself so copy this and paste it over here and our api name is auto populated and in this components which is given on your left side let's pull text two times so rather than pulling just click on text two times on our first text we are going to give label which is last name on account so copy this and paste it over here and api name is auto populated and click on our second text we are going to provide label as bank account type so copy this and paste it over here and for this also api name is auto populated once it is done click on done now click on save so for flow label it is given as bank account record so copy this and paste it over here api name is auto populated so once it is done click on save if you get any warnings just ignore that now let's pull this action interaction into our screen now we are under filter by we are going to choose type followed by external service on left side so once it is done click on action click on add account you will get this screen for label we are going to provide label as add bank account just copy this and paste it over here and api name is auto populated and inside our account name text box i am just going to type as name and going to choose last name and account and for account type i am just going to type as type and going to choose bank account type and once it is done we are going to expand this advanced section and we are going to check this manually assign variables once it is done just scroll down under to not when we are going to choose new resource click on new resource and resource type as variable and for this api name we are going to choose it from our challenge which is account so copy this and paste it over here and for this data type is given as apex defined so just type it and click this apex defined and for apex class we are going to choose external service followed by bank service followed by account details so once it is done we are going to choose this available for input as well as available for output check these two check box and click on done and for our 409 exception scroll down and click on this choose new resource and resource type as variable 
and API name we are going to choose existing account which is given in our challenge itself so copy this and paste it over here for data type again we are going to choose apex defined and for apex class external service followed by bank service followed by account details and for availability we are going to choose both again now click on done followed by done again now it's time to add our decision element over here and for label let's go to our challenge and copy this label which is back account updated paste it over here followed by our api name let's add our new outcome details now make sure new outcome is selected for this label we are going to copy this from our challenge itself and paste it over here and outcome api name is auto populated and make sure that all condition are met with and is selected once it is done for resource we are going to enter one more condition so for resource i'm just going to choose existing account followed by operator as is null and for value we are going to choose true so once it is done let's change our name of default outcome click on default outcome here and for this label we are going to provide alternative label which is bank account form so just paste it over here once it is done click on done now let's pull our assignment into screen and for this label is given in our challenge itself copy that and paste it over here and let's enter our variable values now so which is account id click on account followed by id operator should be equal and for value let's type existing account followed by id so once it is done click on done if you get any warnings just ignore that let's add update record here so for this label we are going to choose it from our challenge so i'm just going to copy this label and let's paste it over here api name is auto populated and for this i'm going to choose this specify condition to identify records and set field individually object choose it as user click on user let's scroll down let's set our condition now so we are going to choose last name followed by operator as equals followed by value as last name on account now scroll down and for our second field we are going to choose account id followed by value as account so type account which is followed by id so once it is done click on add field now choose account type so which is right over here and for this value we are going to choose bank account type which is under screen components so once it is done click on done 
and now we are going to create two record with single variable let's go to our manager tab on our left side and here we are going to choose new resource and choose resource type as variable for api name we are going to copy which is given over there in our challenge so copy this api name paste it over here and data type we are going to choose it as record for object type user so select user and under this availability we are going to choose available for output only click on that now click on done let's add one more resource click on new resource choose resource type as variable so for api name we are going to give it as user and for data type choose record and object as user let's select user from here so click on user and here for availability we are going to choose available for output followed by done now it's time to connect our elements so from start to screen connect these two from screen to action connect these two from action to decision connect these two and from decision to assignment so you will get this pop up here we need to choose bank account found click on done from assignment to update record so once it is done click on save now you will not be getting any warnings over here and one more thing we just need to connect is decision to update record so once it is done click on save again now we are going to choose this debug next to run once if you click on debug just go back to our challenge screen from here we just need one more data so which is given over here so copy this thompson and when you come back you will get the screen click on run and paste that over here and bank account type as checking click on next so once it is done let's go back to our challenge and check it now click on verify so yeah guys we have successfully completed this challenge see you all on next video until then bye bye